A largely unheralded fourth wave of feminism began almost ten years ago, and like MGTOW, it's primarily a phenomenon of the Internet. Quote, Welcome to the fourth wave of feminism. This movement follows the first wave campaign for votes for women, which reached its height 100 years ago, the second wave women's liberation movement that blazed through the 1970s and 80s, and the third wave declared by Rebecca Walker, Alice Walker's daughter and others, in the early 1990s. That shift from second to third wave took many important forms, but often felt broadly generational, with women defining their work as distinct from their mothers. What's happening now feels like something new again. It's defined by technology, tools that are allowing women to build a strong, popular, reactive movement online, close quote. Kira Cochran, The Fourth Wave of Feminism, Meet the Rebel Women. It began around 2008, quote, by the time Obama and Hillary were facing off in the Democratic primaries, a critical mass of younger feminists began expressing themselves. They were tech-savvy and gender-sophisticated. In place of zines and songs, young feminists created blogs, Twitter campaigns, and online media with names like Racialicious and Feministing, or wrote for Jezebel and Salon's broadsheet, close quote. Jennifer Baumgartner, is there a fourth wave? Does it matter? What do fourth wave feminists do? Quote, Many commentators argue that the internet itself has enabled a shift from third wave to fourth wave feminism. What is certain is that the internet has created a call out culture in which sexism or misogyny can be called out and challenged. Close quote. Elisade Monroe, Feminism, a Fourth Wave? In other words, they complain, which is essentially what the second and third wave feminists did and are doing too. The difference being that fourth wave feminists complain about virtually everything and they do it online. Anita Sarkeesian, for example, who said, quote, everything is sexist, everything is racist, everything is homophobic, close quote. Well, given how many feminists revile and reject male to female transsexuals, it would seem that many feminists are homophobic. And given how feminist women of color were largely ignored by the feminist elite until Warren Farrell and the men's rights movement called them out on it in the 1990s, and yet even today, feminist women of color still experience racism from the white female feminist mainstream, it would certainly seem that many feminists are racists. And given the hate and vitriol most feminists spew about men, it would certainly seem that many feminists are sexist. So immersed as she is in a movement that is homophobic, racist, and sexist, one could understand why fourth-wave feminist Ms. Sarkeesian would feel that way. But given that from the second wave to the third wave to the fourth wave, feminists are chronically complaining about virtually everything, I'm compelled to ask, is the opposite of cisgender pissed gender? That's all for now. Check out the other videos, subscribe to the channel. For the Backlash at Backlash.com, my name is Rod Van Mecklen.